Kildare. I'd like to begin by saying a word of thanks on your behalf and on behalf of the school to a number of people who helped you during your year, your transition year. Mr McCabe, the TY coordinator, went to exceptional lengths to provide a range of TY activities and experiences that I know rival anything else available in schools throughout Ireland. And that's evident from the range of activities and events posted on a regular basis on the school app and available for you and your parents to see. Thank you also to our Deputy Principal, Ms Mulhern, your former year head, Ms McColgan, your new year head, Ms Smith, your tutors, Mr McGurk, Mr Shevlin, Ms Cunningham and Mr O'Neill. Thank you also, parents, for encouraging your sons to get involved. The oldest chestnut with TY is some students can home and tell them parents that there's nothing happening. But you know from the app and from calls to the school that there was plenty happening. And your help, as always, in getting your sons involved is very much appreciated. And thank you, boys. You who made up the TY class of 21. Thank you for your efforts. Efforts in exceptional circumstances. The fact that you had such a protracted period of your TY online saw a lot more academic work completed th this year than would be normal. That said, the fact that you have completed so much academic work this year provides us with scope for additional out-of-class activities next year. To your teachers, I say thank you. Thank you for your innovation, your patience and your professionalism, especially during the period of time that saw our school closed. Boys, so many of you have taken the opportunities afforded to you during TY to try something new. And also, so many of you deserve great credit and our thanks also for helping out something you did throughout the year with energy and enthusiasm. Today's presentation is an opportunity to reflect on the opportunities that were available to you, even in exceptional circumstances. Your TY, it's also an opportunity to reflect on what you personally took part in, that's your TY certificates and your efforts. In two years time, when you help us to prepare your school reference, you will, with us, look back on this same TY certificate and your e-portfolio to help us write your reference. So many of you have achieved so much this year. Boys, well done. I conclude by saying that your summer holidays will begin immediately after this presentation. A number of parents have asked that students are released from class to attend work experience. And this is a very positive thing. And I encourage you all to take the opportunity afforded by having some extra time out of school as against, say, our fifth years. Take that time to look for work. Look for work experience or a part-time job. Can I conclude by saying that I wish you well for the summer. I thank you again for your efforts this year. And I look forward to seeing you back here again in August. And my wish and sincere wish for you all for your summer, the summer of your transition year, is that you look after each other and you stay safe. Gormila Mila Mahagal Galer. I will now hand over to your TY coordinator, Mr. McCabe. Chia Dave, Tom Wajon Shaw, can rang the Hidroblena at Kaleru. Parents, teachers, students and friends of St. McCartan's College, I'd like to welcome you to our online TY ceremony for this year to celebrate the work and achievements of your sons throughout this year. It's been a very difficult year for the country and here at our school too. We've missed out on many of our annual programmes, such as the annual Treat to Loch Derg, a multimedia project with Fermanagh and Monaghan Museums, which was to film uh, events to do with the Civil War this year and other trips and a chance to thread the boards to the delight and amusement of you, the parents. However, these sacrifices were necessary in order to help our community protect themselves in this pandemic. And our thoughts and prayers are with all the family members who have suffered grief and hardship at this time. There have been many unexpected benefits to our TY programme this year. For example, every year the Bar Council will ask me to nominate one student who enters a lottery to go and take part in their law programme for a week in Dublin. This year, due to the pandemic and moving online, we were able to offer to every single student in TY, seven of which took up the challenge. We've had students travel to taster courses at colleges all across the country, which ordinarily they would not be able to do or wouldn't be feasible to do for a one-day trip. But we've had to adapt. Many of our classes moved online 
others while on, in class and also blended. I wish to thank Mr McHugh, Ms Mulhern and all the teachers for their hard work in adapting our TY modules and all our subjects. And while they may have been more academically focused this year, they have ensured that every child has had a full timetable throughout the year, TY included, and also that every child who needed a device was able to get so get them. And I wish to thank the staff and the management for this. It's very important, I think, to help the students cope in this adverse times that there was structure and goals provided. However, not while we as a staff would have been worried about the students and the effects of these prolonged school closures on their mental health, some students were able to see the bright side. In fact, one of the students told me he actually preferred online due to the fact he was able to get out of bed at half eight in the day as opposed to seven in the morning. As Martin Luther King has said, the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge. And there have been many challenges this year, but also many bright sides too. I wish to thank our TY students who brought ideas to the TY Student Voice Committee. And that led us to having the GA Leadership Challenge with the girls in the convent and in a national competition. Numerous quizzes at the end of the terms, 15k hikes of bragging, and also the students suggested a letter writing campaign to the local nursing home residents and this is ongoing throughout the year and has been a source of great gratitude to the residents and the staff are so so happy with them and I'd like to thank all the English department for helping facilitate this. While talking about the nursing homes I'd like to particularly thank Odin Hackett and Emmett Sherry who throughout the pandemic when they were able to do so would play music outside the nursing homes under a gazebo so the residents inside could hear them when they weren't allowed visitors. And then, when they were not able to do so, they'd record music at home and create CDs or share it online with those nursing homes, just to provide some entertainment for them throughout the year. I am very, very grateful to the boys for this. We've had many unexpected opportunities to visit places of beauty in our own county. Every class has gone to the Patrick Cavanagh Centre, a source of great educational benefit and also set in lovely scenery. Soon. The students undertaking Gashka will travel outside the county bounds to our neighbouring counties as, as part of a kayaking programme with Mr Dalton and Mr Cosgrove and I'd like to thank them for that. I'd also like to note the hard work of Miss Cunningham with the photography exhibition which during the lockdown got the students out and about taking pictures of nature and has led to some marvellous results. I'd like to put on record my thanks to all the employers and businesses who were able to facilitate some of our students with work experience this year. It has not been an easy time, but it has been immensely appreciated. I would like to thank Mr O'Neill and Mr McIlvany for helping all the students prepare their speeches and rehearse them, all the speakers who you will now hear in a moment. And especially my thanks will go to Mr Murphy and Ms Kirk who have allowed this online ceremony to take place this year. Finally, I would ask you, the parents, to please go online and complete the parent evaluation of TY. Let me know what you think and where improvements can be made in the future. Thank you all and stay safe. Hello, my name is Tristan Murphy and I'm speaking about learning from home. Learning from home for us started on Wednesday the 6th of January. We started back at our schoolwork as usual, only we were doing it remotely. I found the work from home good as we were set a task for the hour and we had the whole class to do it. Our classes were shortened slightly to 50 minutes from one hour. This was great as it gave us 10 minutes in between classes to prepare for the next class. Overall I found learning from home good as it was clear what we had to do for work every day. During the lockdown we changed modules. At first this was confusing and I had, as I had to make sure I had the right Google Classroom code, but after the first day it wasn't confusing to do. Hello, my name is Paul Clerken and I'm a TY student here at St. McCartan's College. This year we were the second uh, year of students to do the computer science course uh, for transition year. Ms. Grugan was our teacher. Computer science is a very useful skill to have and it's becoming increasingly useful in the world of work. Computer science is seen all across our modern world. This year we did three different modules on Python, HTML and Microbit. Python is an increasingly ubiquitous language that is very useful in creating functional code for many purposes. 
HTML is a programming language used in web design and is seen everywhere on the internet. In Microbit, we got a chance to see how coding could be used to make outputs by creating code for a Microbit, which is a mini computer. I enjoy learning about these coding languages and I think they'll be very useful later on in life and I'd recommend this subject to third years coming into TY. My name is Luke McManus and during online school I signed up for transition year information days at NUI Galway. I went to three separate days, business, science and engineering. These separate days gave me an insight to what the subjects are about. Business was my favourite day because I learned about different subjects like accounting, economics, finance, business management and business information systems. The professors answered questions about the different topics. They also answered all our questions about the different courses at NUIG. They gave us good advice about subjects we should pick and what courses to look at. NUIG also sent me a book in the post explaining every different course that they have to offer. After doing this course I realised that I like business courses more. As a result I realised I might not be suited to do courses in science and engineering. Hello, my name is Ben O'Brien. In transition year, I had the opportunity to become involved in a coaching workshop. This took place in the Mon United Complex in Gorda Keegan. This workshop was held over a four week period. It involved many secondary schools over Monaghan. Dylan Sherry, Harvey Colloran and I were the volunteers in transition year. Throughout this workshop, we participated in various activities ranging from first aid, CPR training and coaching skills. In the first aid section, we learned to recognise particular injuries and how to best treat them. We were able to gain a better understanding of the supplies included in the first aid kit. As part of this course, we watched an informative video on how to properly perform CPR in an emergency situation. We put what we had learned into practice by performing the CPR mannequin. From watching the video, we knew how many compressions were required and how to execute them. The coaching element of the course was very enjoyable as there was an emphasis on practice and theory. During this section we learned how to set up different drills and implement them. I learned a lot from this experience and I highly recommend it to the incoming transition year students. The instructors were very encouraging and helped us to understand each topic fully. Um, my name is Matthew McVicker and I will be speaking about my experience taking part in the Student Enterprise Programme. This year I took part in the Student Enterprise Programme with my business, Copper Case. There were also two other businesses from our school, uh, GD Footballs and Mindfulness Calendars. My product is a storage case for face masks with antimicrobial copper lining inside. Copper is proven to have antimicrobial benefits with studies from the University of Southampton proving that copper deactivates COVID-19 in less than three minutes. If you place your mask in one of my cases for three minutes, it's free from COVID-19 and other bacteria and viruses. All students who sign up for the Enterprise Programme are present their business idea at the County Finals first. This is organised by the local Enterprise Office. I was delighted to win the Innovation Award and Overall Award at the County Final and on the 14th of May I will represent County Monaghan at the National Final. In preparation for the County Finals, each mini company had to submit a short business report and video explaining how they ran their business. Students taking part in the programme go through all aspects of the process of creating a business. This includes product and market research, marketing, sales, finances as well. I'm selling my product online through my website coppercase.ie and in retailers, especially pharmacies, across Ireland and the UK. I've sold over 1,400 cases to date. Throughout the process, students must pay attention to their business financials to make sure that they have a profitable business. I use my website and social media to promote my product while also doing a radio interview on Northern Sound. I found pharmacies were the most effective place for me to sell my product. Though, however, market research was essential for me to come to this conclusion. The Mona and Local Enterprise Office have helped me greatly in preparing for the National Final. I find the Student Enterprise Programme to be a great way to get hands-on experience of running a business and I encourage future transition year students to take part in it. Hello, my name is Daniel Pronti and I am going to be talking about St. McCord's Technology class. Technology is a Leaving Cert subject which you can pick as one of your choice subjects here. Leaving Cert technology covers a variety of topics from mechanisms, electronics, program, programming, materials and technology in society. The skills you learn in this class are used in everyday life from building circuits and designing solutions for modern problems. 
A major part of technology is being able to problems, solve problems. By taking the subject for your leaving cert, it can help you get many jobs in the future, like robotic engineering, mechanical engineering, aeronautical engineering, and electrical engineering, to name a few. Technology is only going to play more and more of a role in our society, so that's why I believe it is one of the best subjects to take. Thank you. Hello, my name is Oren Hackett, and this is Emma Cherry and we participated in playing music for the elderly. As you all know, COVID-19 has greatly impacted our lives. However, many do not discuss the impact it had on those living in a nursing home. Imagine being stuck in the same building for months on end and not being able to entertain yourself. That's why TYs at St. McCartan's College decided to bring the entertainment to them while following government guidelines. During most years, TYs would play board games with the elderly teach them ICT and play music for them. However, this year was not like every other year and TYs had to come up with a solution that allowed us to still provide some entertainment for them. At level 3 lockdown, instead of playing music in the building, we played under a glacebo outside to practice social distancing. Unfortunately, due to the level 5 lockdown in November, we had to switch tactics, make some make a music CD for the nursing homes. Play. This idea ended up having extra benefits because as we were able to give the CD to all the nursing homes in the area, as we weren't able to play, whereas we were only able to play music at one at a time. In December, we also gave them a Christmas music CD, which included many well known Christmas songs. In our opinion, we found I'm playing at the nursing homes class crack, and it was great to see you them enjoying it. Hello, my name is Caelan Mullen and I participated in the law module. There are many modules for TY students to choose from and I previously had an interest in law so I volunteered for the module. In the law module they got various people from each job in law to speak about what they do in law. They talked about what their jobs are like and what everyday life is like for them. After watching the videos we were quizzed on the job we had just learned about. Unlike other years when only a small number of students could participate in this module, there were a lot of students participating. It was also an online course, whereas in previous years it was in person and not pre-recorded. Upon doing the law module, I didn't know too much about law. I now, after completing the module, have a much better understanding of law. The law module was very good and I had a good interest in law, but since I have finished the law module, I have realised that this isn't the right line of work for me and that this module helped me realise that. Hello, my name is Jordan and I will be talking about the Gashka. The President's Award is a three-tiered personal development programme for young people aged 15 to 25, combining self-directed challenges and structural supervision by an adult volunteer. Young people set and achieve a series of personal, physical and community challenges at bronze, silver or gold level. Examples of personal achievements could be teaching yourself how to cook, to play the guitar, to play the piano, or any other instrument. It could also be teaching yourself to swim. Examples of physical achievement could be going on daily walks or going to the gym. Examples of community challenges, volunteering for ch charity involvement or volunteering to help coach in a local football club. Hello, my name is Sean Callan and this year I participated in a work placement program back in November. I applied for a place in Delight after speaking to a friend who is an accountant in a firm. I thought it was a great opportunity to see what people in this sector of work do on the daily. The programme consisted of different online meetings for five days where I got to speak to those working in the accounting, consulting, audit and tax and also risk and the financial advisory departments. I also completed a number of workshops and projects both individually and with other TY students from across the country. I learned important things like how to write a good CV and improving interviewing skills. I found the week very enjoyable as well as beneficial as to what I'd like to do in the future. I believe if you have the opportunity to do any work experience you should take it as it would be really helpful when it comes to the decisions you will have to make after school. Thank you. Hello, my name is Shea Swift and I'm going to be talking to you about my work experience I did in January 2021. It was a challenging year and TY is very different to other years. I got the opportunity to do my work experience in the Royal College of Surgeons. 
After looking into what work experience I could do in the area of medicine and physiotherapy, I emailed the RCSI asking if they had any and they got back to me so I started a week long course. I attended multiple Zoom meetings a day for five days in January. These meetings include information on topics such as neurology, surg the surgeons and many more. I got to see a live surgery, talk to surgeons and find out what a day in the life of a doctor looks like. I had the opportunity to speak to many people such as the Irish team doctor and the Irish rugby team's physio. I also got the chance to speak to students in the RCSA and about their experience so far. These really helped me get the opportunity to know what I wanted to do. Work experience gives you the opportunity to know what you want to do or know what you definitely do not want to do. I would, like, I would highly recommend if you get the chance, even if it's in the summer, to do a few days of work experience in a field you're interested in. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ryan. I'm in fourth year in St. McCartan's College. This year has been an interesting year. We still got to do fun, exciting modules given the current pandemic and restrictions. I learned a lot from each of the different modules. For example, on Mondays, we had the module Safety in the Workplace, where we learned about abiding guidelines and the importance of safety gear. We also had the module Staying Alive, where we learned a lot about road safety, rules of the roads, and the do's and don'ts of driving. Then we had Jitterbug. It was a great module, as we made a Jitterbug out of acrylic that moves. There are other many modules that we had on Mondays, like Mindfulness, where we learned how to deal with stress and other feelings. We also had the joy of doing art, where we got to do a lockdown photography project. On Tuesdays we had Psychology, where we learned how the human brain works. We also did Photography on Tuesday, where we learned how to get two separate photos and merge them using Photoshop. We did Political and Social Education, where we learned a lot about Brexit and the effects and benefits of it. The last module we done on Tuesday is Positive Mental Health, where we learnt about mental health and how it affects people. Some examples include anxiety, PTSD and depression. Uh, hello, yeah. my name is Shane Moran and today I'm doing the French speech for TY. Uh, this year in French we had the opportunity to work on several projects linked to Francophonie and French culture. In the first term we attended the virtual Think Languages TY event uh, and got to try out things such as French bulls, uh, Portuguese caporia and Arabic belly dancing. Um, we also worked on the Think Languages experience pack uh, and watched the film Les Intouchables, uh, followed by giving an oral presentation on reviewing the film. Uh, it has been a good experience uh, to it has been good to experience less academic elements of the language uh, and get to learn more about French people and their culture. Hello, my name is Gary Devlin and I am in transition year in St. McCartan's College. Today I will be talking to you about the Shout Out Awareness talk we received during the third lockdown. What is Shout Out? Shout Out is a registered charity committed to improving life for LGBTQ plus people by sharing personal stories and educating school students, parents and garden guardians, teachers, youth workers and workplaces on LGBTQ plus issues. Since 2012, they have been delivering workshops in secondary schools across the island of Ireland which tackle LGBTQ plus bullying and they have completed over 1,800 student workshops over the past eight school years, that means they have spoken directly to over 54,000 students. Thank you for listening. Hello, my name is Dora Moina and I am a transition year student at McCartan's College. The German class took part in Think Languages workshop in December 2020. There were three workshops all online. Freddie McSkeen said we had to do the German workshop on passive housing but could pick the other two ourselves. Our class chose Italian cuisine and Arabic belly dancing. Both were through the medium of Italian and Arabic. The belly dancing was the best crack, but quite difficult. The school provided a sample of food from other countries in the canteen. We also played badminton, as Max, the German student, said this is a popular sport in Germany. The Think Languages event was a great way for us to experience and appreciate other cultures and at the same time sample the languages we've never tried before, along with our fellow students in the French class. Hello, my name is Ewan Finnegan. I have chosen Leaving Cert PE as a Leaving Certificate subject. I chose it because I have a deep interest in sport and health. And, for this, and it is a great subject because of this. In Leaving Cert PE we learn about the human anatomy and how to work on and improve all aspects of physical fitness. We also have done a lot of practical classes where we've done gym work, ran beep tests, done circuit training throughout the year. At the start of the year 
we did physical tests where we set up circuits and recorded all of our tests to see what our physical capabilities are. These included sit and reach tests, vertical jump, broad jump and T-test. I thoroughly enjoyed my year in Nemus RPE and I'm excited for the next two. Hello, my name is Dennis and I have participated in the website development course with the convent. I found this course to be really interesting and informative and the theory side of the courses were also really interesting. We were also able to put our knowledge to practical use which really helped me understand some topics a bit better. It also helped me better understand how the code works in HTML or microbit when I experimented with it myself. So I'm very grateful for having the opportunity to look into it and learn about it. We have covered many topics throughout this course, such as HTML or microbit, but I found 2D animation to be something really interesting and something new and it made me curious enough to look into it more because I found the process of making uh, 2D animation to be simple, straightforward and generally interesting. Uh, as I was participating in this course I did not really struggle because everything was explained well and it was also taken at a very steady pace. The hosts Janina and Constantine did a really great job at explaining and showing the topics at hand. So I'm very grateful to be in this uh, course and they were also generally great hosts. Hello. My name is Magic. In this awareness talk, there was this speaker that came into the school and her name was Samantha. We had this talk every Wednesday, first and second period. It was a four week long program about awareness, self-control and mental health. In the first week, the speaker talked about the vicious cycle. The vicious cycle is a negative series of events that build up uh, and reinforce each other. In the second week, the speaker talked about ABTBP, which stands for Amazing Bad Thought Busting Program. It helps you to, to, tack, to tackle unhelpful thoughts that are uh, stuck in your head. In three weeks, speak, the speaker talked about the Bad Thought Spotter, which is a program that helps you to challenge your negative thinking and to just think more positive about yourself. Lastly, in week, in, in week four, we talked about the easy four step program. It is about these four steps. Number one, break the problem into pieces. Uh, number two, brainstorm ways to do the first piece. Three, choose an idea and make a plan to do it. And four, check the plan and put it into action. On Raglan Road of an autumn day, I saw her first and knew that her, that her dark hair would weave a snare that I might one day rue. I saw the danger and I passed along the enchanted way, and I said let grief be a fallen leaf at the dawning of the day. On Grafton Street in November, we tripped lightly along the ledge of a deep ravine where can be seen the worth of passion's pledge. The queen of hearts still making tarts and I not making hay, or I love too much and by such by such is happiness thrown away. I gave her gifts of the mind, I gave her the secret signs, that's known to the artists who have known the true gods of sound and stone, and her words and tint without stint, I gave her poems to say, with her own name there and her own dark hair like clouds over fields of May. On a quiet street where old ghosts meet, I see her walking now, and away from me so hurriedly my reasons must allow. That I had loved, not as I should, a creature made of clay. When the angel woos the clay, he'll lose his wings at the dawn of day. Hi, my name is Ryan Scott. In fourth year during the second lockdown, our, our teacher, Miss Cunningham, introduced us to the concept of a documentary photography project and asked us to create a visual diary of our experiences of life in lockdown. Each week we were set a new challenge. This could be to master a specific skill of photography or to try a new photographic uh, technique. We were asked to capture our day to day in life on these unprecedented times through the medium of photography. By doing this we were able to photograph the remarkable things going on in each day so that we can remember when it's all over. 
Completing this project was a great way to make Days at Home more interesting. It's going to ground as one of the biggest events of our time, so it was a great thing to document it. My experience of this project thought it was interesting. There were many things that in everyday life that I became more aware of that I wouldn't usually notice. For instance, when I went out in walks, I began to observe everything from beautiful sunsets to sunrises, nature, animals and views. When I was doing this project, I was more in the moment and became more aware of things I would never have like in light, different lighting and features.